I am trying to get in a better shape, and I downloaded this fitness app, and you're supposed to interact with other people that have it, but I don't know anyone that has it, so it keeps telling me I have zero friends. <laughs> I think it's trying to roast me now or something. <laughs> But you're supposed to type in all the activities that you do. So I tried to type in that I'd had sex, and it wouldn't let me. I guess even my phone doesn't believe that I'm having sex, apparently. But I want to make my own app to get a ride somewhere when it's cold outside. It's just going to be called Uber. <laughs> so that's something I'm working on. One of my first jobs, I had to take care of my friend's diabetic cat when he was out of town. And I don't think the cat knew that it had diabetes, so it was confused. It was like, why is there a giant stranger coming into my house and stabbing me in the neck with a needle? It felt like I was playing hide-and-go-seek, and they were like, by the way, if you don't win the game, someone dies. And you only get paid $5 plus whatever you can steal from your friend's house without them noticing. Before I did comedy, I also tried acting, and I only got cast as a background extra. People would see my acting, and they're like, we think this works better if you don't say anything. <laughs> and you stand really far away. Actually, this is an office scene. We don't know if you're going to be believable as someone who has a job. You should sit this one out. I worked in real estate for a while. I just wanted something more stable, so I started doing stand-up comedy. And I always got in trouble at that job. My boss would be like, it seems like you only come into work when you feel like it. I was like, that's not true, because I never feel like <laughs> coming into work. So technically, I come in slightly more times than that. But the last time I saw him, he's like, you got to make some changes. I'm like, what's he going to do, fire me? It turns out, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what he did. My goal at that job was to work the least amount where I wouldn't get fired, which I don't know what that amount is, but now I know what the amount right below that is. <laughs> I got fired from an unpaid internship once. I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> they were really nice about it. It's like they were saying, you're fine, but we're going to go with uninhabited space. <laughs> we feel like you're a little less productive than this empty void <laughs> over here.